They always start it. They, okay, they don't talk about fucking bitches and hoes, but there are, a lot of the music is sexist. Okay, well, you, okay, we're, we're, the video started, so you okay. might not know what kind of music it is. Oh, okay. We'll start the video. Uh, I did start the video. Okay, uh, modern country music we're talking about. Well, maybe that's the one good thing about it. That's right. Uh, oh, we were talking about also uh, how uh, it's a real pain when you when you have to take a shit right after after you've taken a shower. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. hate that. Yeah, that does fucking suck. Yeah. Oh, I know what I was gonna bring up. Uh, I think I, I don't know if I talked about this in a driving video or not. Uh, we live in an uptight uh, society where people can't handle talking about things like that or listen to people things like this. Um, suppose a guy takes his girlfriend to, um, uh, a Mexican restaurant, buys her dinner. Okay. And, uh, and he, and as soon as he's done, he plans on fucking her in the back seat of his car. Mm-hmm. Oh, went down. <laughs> to begin, it went down. Yeah, right? <laughs> but, no, that's about fucking. Oh. So he plans to fuck his girlfriend in the ass after... He's done buying her After dinner. Mexican food? Oh, smooth move. Yeah. Well, anyway, she has an uncontrollable urge to take a shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to... I never got around to talking about this on the spoken words. Oh, um, now's the time, perhaps. Yeah, it'll offend some snowflakes. Aw, oh, my heart bleeds. But, um... So, so, she... So she had, I wouldn't say it's diarrhea, but it's a, just an intense, squishy shit that comes out of her ass. Oh, that fudgy kind of shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know what you mean. And, uh... My check engine light went off, yeah. And then, uh, but you gotta realize, and she can't take a shower because you're gonna fuck her in the back seat of the car. Well, you see, if I were her, I'd say, excuse me, I need to freshen up first. Let me run into the house. Yeah, but you're not at the house. You're out. Well, I would say, let's go back to either your house or my house. I would like to freshen up first. I'm not comfortable. What if they both live with their parents? Oh, that could be a problem. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't imagine the, the girl coming home to her, her parents saying, uh, yeah, uh, um, Tony, my boyfriend, is going to fuck me in the ass. But I, and then she said she took a shit and then... But anyway, he would fuck her in the ass if he loved her, even after taking a shit. And if she loved him, she'd lick the shit off his dick when he was done. <laughs> what did I do? And My God. No. I married into, uh... I'm not done with the story yet, though. Yeah. All right, finish, because this okay. is an interesting story. Then I was in the drugstore. Uh-huh. And I got somewhat of a solution to the problem. Okay. But because people don't talk about this, I guess I would have figured it out on my own. Mm. Um, I saw a thing known as wet wipes, which is Oh, I was going to suggest that since they went to the drugstore. Yeah. Moist towelettes. So, yes. So she... Cleans her ass off of that. It's not going to be a good. It's not going to be as clean as if she took a shower. Uh, it, it depends how many of those wipes she uses and how thorough she is. It, I'm no. sure it could do a very good, uh, an admirable job. Okay. But why didn't anybody teach me about this? I don't know, but they should have. Oh, it's a little warm. Well, yeah, you moist know. towelettes have been available since I was a child. Yeah. Well, I didn't know what they were. I thought they were just for sanitizing your hand or something. Well, they could be used for that, too, or washing your face. But <clears throat> why don't they show a commercial of a... <clears throat> showing the guy in the back seat of the car, he's getting ready to fuck her, and, he, and then she says, uh, then she says, honey, I have to take a shit, and... And then, then the guy has a horrified look on his face. How am I gonna fuck you in the ass now? But then and she picks up the box of, of wet wipes. And goes, wet wipes for those moments, for those moments when taking a shit isn't very convenient. 
I from, just... the, from the makers of Stain Away Laundry Detergent. Gets out stains from women's undergarments. Period. Period. Yeah. Well, that yeah, that's a good idea for a commercial because people do need to know about this. Well, my parents talked you know, taking a shit was t t taking a shit very seriously. It is they, a serious business. They never talked about well how to get fucked in the ass after taking a shit. They Do you think they ever did anal sex? You never know. Probably after you were born and your mother said, "Oh, I hit the jackpot. You can't fuck me in the cunt anymore." Oh God! Imagine if she hears this one. Oh no! You know what? Deep down. I think your mother probably laughs a little to herself and says, oh, God, uh, yeah. See, he's but... getting uh, more interesting all the time. He is. Well, well I got to, when I call her, uh, one of the big reasons to call her is that the, the hopes that she's beverage me in the will and then yeah, that she was going to send me a check on Christmas and something fucked up and I didn't get it. Oh. Is that and the that... only reason you're going to call her? Yeah. Well, it's a good Well, she treated me better. It would be a little easier to, uh, to talk to, to her. To yeah. say it's not the only re reason. I can't yeah. fucking help it. Yeah. You know, getting treated like shit when I was growing up has done me a world of good. Oh, yeah. And it has caused me to become a better person. Oh, yes. And it shows. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I do. I Well, I have said the, the wrong things at times where I actually I admit that it was the wrong thing to say. But I'm not going to say, admit that very often. I admit it if I know that I fucked up. But sometimes I have a good reason for saying what I say. Well, there, I, I used to deliver newspapers, and one of my customers, uh, uh, the guy had a stroke. Oh. So while they, were, while they were putting him in the ambulance, I was saying, I may lose a customer, and now I'm going to get less money. <laughs> that belongs family. right in a John Waters movie. Yeah, I kind of fucked up on that one. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't I, say it's going to their face. I would just did say. Did anyone they, hear you? I think they did. Oh. Okay. Does anyone remember the old commercials for the acne medication, Clearasil? Yes. Where they would say, yes. Clearasil wants to lose you as a customer. Okay. Not funny enough for this video, dear. Oh yeah, I'm still. The, my mind is still caught on. Uh, your mother uh, suggesting anal sex to your father was, I don't want to hit the jackpot again after him. And if you fuck me in the ass, there's no uh, there's no danger of me popping out another brat from my twat. Well, when my mother said it, I don't know if it was because of me, but she says that the more kids you have, the more difficult it is to raise them. And that is true. I'm sure of it. So she, and I said the planet is overpopulated. It is. So she just, she said that's why she decided to stop after three. Yeah. It's probably the same thing with uh, B and George. Oh, I'm sure of it, yeah. Oh, God. Everyone I, says reading is a picnic. some of the things Bob had said to George, uh, oh, I think, God. uh, You'd understand. Yeah, I wish he'd been there when he had that rampage at Golden Corral. Elliot was lucky enough to have been there and saw the Oh, thing. yes. No, it's, it's, I it's, mean, it's, I thought that Bob was a lunatic. He it's, is a lunatic! Well, it's too bad that no one, like I say, it, of course it could have happened, but too bad that no one got out a camera and made a video out of it and put on YouTube. You never know. Man having rampage at his father at Golden Corral. They might not call it a rampage, they might call it an outburst. Outburst or meltdown or something. Or, yeah. Tongue lashing. He has a lot of things they could call it. Oh, I'm so glad I took a ship uh, before going out to eat. Now I'm nice and empty. Yeah, it's a good idea to take a shit before you If go you can, there. yes. I, I mean, you may not be able to. Another thing I enjoy when I go to an all-you-can-eat buffet is taking a shit bet uh, between the regular meal and the dessert. Oh, oh, wait, let me clarify. I don't mean actually literally shitting between the, uh, the food bar and the uh, dessert bar. That would get me thrown out. I meant uh, between the time I eat the regular meal and the time I eat dessert, go to the twirl and in take a, a shit. In the spoken words, I told, told you that on other planets, people take a shit on the floor in the restaurants. That's right, cause, and it's okay because it doesn't stink. 
Well, actually, it, it, every civilization is different, and some of right. them it does. But people pray to the poo poo gods, and the poo poo gods drop out of the sky and clean up the mess. Remember that? Uh, yes, I do. The, they clean up the poo poo that comes out of bum holes. But if you pray to the poo poo gods on, on Earth, they're not going to crop out of the sky and clean up the mess because this planet is so fucked up with no, shit. No, it doesn't work like no that. No pun intended. And stupidity is it doesn't work that way on this planet. <laughs> it could change and work that way someday, but it's not working that way now. No, it'll be a while, I think. And it could be before the end of the year. I mean, you never know, but no, I doubt I it. I don't hold out much hope. So the video will be in Who Parts. Who? Who Arts. You didn't put the, the talcum powder or whatever the, it was. Oh, in my shit, hand. I fucking forgot. But I'm, oh, I might have, like, face powder that will make your hair lighter. We'll do it when we get there. Uh, in the parking lot. Because that fuck-up could cost me a few extra dollars. I hope not. The thing that's not in your favor as far as this goes is you do look younger than your age. They ask how old I am if I lie, and then they want to see it, an ID. I've never been asked for an ID when I uh, went to a restaurant for a senior meal. Well, you never ask a woman her age, and if she, and if you do ask her, her she's supposed to say I'm 21 plus. That's oh, what then my you should have dressed in drag so that they would feel it's rude to ask you. My mother used to say it, and so did uh, my mother Jude's too. Mother. I know I see a lot less gender-neutral bathrooms here than uh, Minnesota. Really? I saw well, a here they often call them family uh, restrooms. Yeah, that means it's okay to take your cunt wrapping in and change its diaper. That's, yeah, that's what yucky. it really is about. What? That's yucky. Oh, I better stop this and make a part. Ew.